when I tell you guys, this had my hair so soft, so shiny, so goddamn buttery. It was like, take me on a trip, I like to go someday. Take me up to Jupiter and out of space. What up you guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, well, okay, let me just say this. I've been going for a minute. I've recorded this video several times, but I've been going for a minute because I really need to step back from YouTube and actually just focus on my family. So it has taken me almost a year to put this content out for y'all. And I know y'all have been waiting. I'm so excited and so happy that you guys showed so much support on the last video, part one. So if you haven't watched part one, go ahead and stop what you're doing. I think we got about 12,000 views on there. Well, a bunch of ladies who, who really, really, really highly recommends you to watch it, okay? So watch part one before you join us on part two, because today we're gonna be talking about moisture, baby. Moisture, I'm gonna give you guys tips on how I retain moisture in my hair, what I do, all that good stuff, things that you wanted to know. So I'm finally giving it to you. To be really quick and to update you guys on a quick little life journey, if you haven't been keeping up with my last couple of videos, I am pregnant. So due to hormones, yeah, I had to really just take a step back from YouTube and now I feel comfortable coming, with, coming to you guys and just talking about things that I like to talk about and doing things that I like to do. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this video because I think I've talked a little bit too much. And yeah, let's stay tuned. <laughs> so the first thing that I do before I start my whole moisturizing process is to start on clean hair. So it is extremely important to moisturize clean hair and not dirty hair because I feel like when you're trying to moisturize dirty hair, you're being counterproductive. You're not really doing anything. You're just putting some product on dirty hair. So you have an extra buildup, which again, is counterproductive. So don't do that. That's lazy and nasty. So the first thing I do is I start with a pre-poo. My pre-poo consists of two products. I use a hydrating conditioner. This one's by Mayel, and I really, really love it because one, it smells good, and two, it feels really great on my hair. So I use a hydrating conditioner and I use olive oil. Crazy, right? So one part deep conditioner, one part olive oil. I blend that up really, 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 really well. Because if you don't blend it up really well, it's gonna have like chunks of conditioner with oil sliding in between those chunks. It's just really weird. Just blend it up really good, okay? You gotta be in the kitchen whipping it, whipping it in order for it to be creamy. So then what I do is I take that creamy pre-poo conditioner oil mixture that I created and I apply that to my hair. Now, how I apply it to my hair is I apply it in four sections, okay? So you guys know, I think I've talked about this in part one of my video, maybe not, but I only do my hair in four sections. Whenever I wash it, whenever I condition it, detangle it, moisturize it, whatever I'm doing, it's in four sections. Again, it's very important to do your hair in sections. Um, if you have very kinky, coarse, thick kinky coarse hair, okay? So not only does is my hair coarse as hell, it's extremely, extremely thick. Um, I do have a lot of hair on my head, so I have to take time to actually give it the love and attention it needs by separating it and doing it in different sections, if that makes sense. Pre-pooing is gonna do two things. It's very, very important to do pre-poo because one, it's going to remove shed hair and shed hair causes tangles and unnecessary damage comes from tangles, okay? So we wanna prevent tangles um, by detangling and removing shed hair. The second thing it's gonna do is going to prevent your hair from being stripped by shampoos. So if you're somebody who is extremely sensitive to shampoos, you, you feel like only co-washes work, because I was that person at one point in my life, um, you definitely wanna do a pre-poo because it actually helps a lot in that department. And I don't, I don't think people realize that. The next thing I do is I follow up with a shampoo. The product that I've been using, um, the shampoo I've been using is Myel's from the Pomegranate and Honey line. Okay, for, <laughs> before before we go on, the Pomegranate and Honey line specifically caters to four type hair. So if you're somebody who's looking for products for your specific hair texture, this line is not going to fail you. Especially with this shampoo, because I feel like it is very, very cleansing. But not only is it cleansing, it doesn't strip your hair and it does what it says. It's a moisturizing and detangling shampoo. I'm so impressed with this shampoo. 
I can go on for days about this shampoo because it's just amazing how it thoroughly cleanses your hair without stripping your hair. But it specifically shows, is this right here? I'm not lying to y'all. When I said it caters to four hair type girls, type four, look at right there, type four. You cannot go wrong with this. This product is freaking amazing. So once I wash my hair, I do two things. I either follow up with the leave-in conditioner or I do a deep conditioner. So recently I did a new cute um, protective style. Y'all know what this is. Them twists, them passion twists. And I know I was coming out of braids because I pretty much kept my hair braided the entire summer. It's just one, it's too hot. And two, I'm pregnant. Like I deserve the chance to be lazy sometime in my life and I was extremely lazy this summer, especially when it came to my hair due to my pregnancy, it's just the FYI. So to make sure I have more love put into this hair, I had to do a deep conditioning treatment because again, the summer was rough, my hair stayed in braids and I didn't do my normal regimen when it comes to my hair. Like I said, I do my leave-in conditioner, I do a deep conditioner and recently my yell has released this moisturizing line, okay? So I use this overnight deep conditioner. So moisturizing, so freaking amazing. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not leave it in overnight. I didn't have time. I wasn't sure if this baby was gonna be here today, tomorrow or the next day. We didn't know at the time. So what I did was I used my, leave, my deep conditioner as normal. And to get the most out of this deep conditioner, you can do this with any conditioner to be honest with you, is sit under a hooded hair steamer. So I have a beautiful hair steamer. It is extremely old. It's about like six or seven years old, probably older than that. But you can get a hooded hair steamer from Amazon. I will leave some links down below for where you can purchase one at. And the whole benefit of having a hair steamer is it helps products penetrate your hair a lot better, okay? Like I find when I use my deep conditioners and I really wanna like get the most out of the product and bring life back to my hair, I will sit under a hair steamer and allow it to penetrate my hair. Once I am done letting it penetrate my hair, I will rinse with cool water. When I tell you guys this, had my hair so soft, so shiny, so goddamn buttery. It was like satin, y'all. It, it felt good. It, this, I was impressed. I was like, baby, this is it. This isn't a line that is specifically catered to four type girls, but you can use it. Okay, so FYI, you can use it. This right here, this right here, I don't know how it's gonna work out what you're doing overnight. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't tried it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be banging, but let me let you know something right here. <laughs> Use this, sit under that hooded hair steamer. Tell me, tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying when I tell you the results. Absolutely amazing. Rinse with cool water, that is key. Rinse your hair with cool water and look at the shine. Look at how the texture feels, how soft your hair is, how easy it is to detangle. That is key. That's, that's what you want. <laughs> when your hair feels like that, you're on the right track. So once I finish with a deep conditioner, I follow up with my leave-in conditioner. So no matter what, I'm always gonna follow up with my leave-in conditioner because that leave-in conditioner is key to the next step, which is adding my hair cream. So I usually use, on a normal basis, I would use As I Am Double Buttercream, which this is a really good product. I'm not a fan of this company, but this particular product <laughs> has been absolutely amazing. Um, it's extremely expensive, I'm not gonna lie. 16 ounces is like 20 to $30. Um, this is eight ounces, and I think I paid probably 13, $14 for it. It's expensive as hell, and I've been on the hunt for, I mean, you, I still have product in there. But I've been on a hunt. Oh, it smells so good too. I forgot how good this smells. I didn't use it recently. And I'm gonna tell you guys why in a minute. I've been on a hunt for cheaper alternatives when it comes to buttercreams, okay? So any type of um, hair moisturizing cream, any type of buttercream, I've been looking for something that would be just as good as this, but less expensive. So there's two products that I recently purchased. One of them, of course, Mayel, has a buttercream that it's a part of that new line that I mentioned. It's a moisturizing hair butter, and I use this on one part of my hair. Now I'm gonna tell you guys why I did what I did, because one, I, I just couldn't wait. This is gonna be in my hair for a while, because after I give birth, 
I gotta recover. <laughs> recover for six weeks, so we just gonna go with the flow. What I did was I split my hair into two. So I have two sections on this side, two sections on this side, and I applied this to my left side, and I also use melanin. I've been trying to get my hands on it. I finally purchased it, and I'm so glad I purchased it. If you haven't purchased it, get your hands on it. Again, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Whoops. A lot of product for your money, um, and that was what was important to me. Like I mentioned, as I am is very expensive, but it worked. I needed to make sure my next product that I find, they work. These two products, they work. I cannot lie to you guys. I've been using this one on my son's hair since I've gotten it. Um, as you can tell, it's been in, it's been getting some use out of it. I've been using this product um, on my son's hair since I've gotten it, and I, I love the way it works in his little hair because he has very, very dry hair. But such a little baby. <laughs> his hair is pretty dry. This has done wonders for his hair, so I wanted to use it on myself to see if I would get the same results, and I'm very impressed. This, I feel like this is a little bit more moisturizing. Both products are great, don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking this product, but I feel like this product is a little bit more moisturizing and it works a little bit more well in my hair. Um, but both products I was very, very impressed with. I love the way they apply. You don't have to use much, but I tend to use much a lot anyway because I like for my hair to be thoroughly moisturized, especially when I put in braids. But I was very impressed not only with the price, how much product you get, and how it actually feels in your hair. The real key to all of this is when I take down my hair, what will my hair feel like at the end of the day is what will make me really say if I truly, truly, truly um, love the products. One thing about the double buttercream is when I apply this to my hair and I do my protective style, I don't care how dry and crazy my hair looks, my braids are usually sealed with this and it feels so good when I take it down because you can still see the shine on the unraveled hair. Like that is key to me, for me to know if a product is like the bomb.com or if I've wasted my money. But it is a rich moisturizer. I do feel like it really does work. Is it something that I wanna keep purchasing? Hell no, nah, this shit expensive as hell. So that's why I want y'all to go ahead and get your girl Mayo, okay? As well as Melanin because both of these products work very, very well. I find that you get a lot for your money. Very moisturizing. Again, this one worked a little bit better for my hair texture. This one works great as well too because I have a son who has extreme dry hair so I know it works very well. And then after I apply my moisturizer, I follow up with the oil. Now normally I would use Wild Growth Hair Oil. I talk about this in plenty of other videos. I'm, like, I'm a huge, huge fan of Wild Growth Hair Oil. One, it's very inexpensive. Two, it works. It feel good and it works. So this time around, I didn't use the Wild Growth Hair Oil. In fact, I decided to use Melanin's um, oil that they also provide, which again, you get a lot. Look how much product this is. You get a lot of product, and not only do you get a lot of product, but a little of this stuff goes a long way. Very nice, very light. It does contain vitamin E, so I'm like, yes, yes. I use these two together. In fact, actually I use these two together, and I use these two together. Very, very impressed on how this oil works. Now I'm telling you, you could probably mix up something in your kitchen. That's not me. It does its job, what I need to do, which is still in the moisturizing creams that I put in or the butter creams that I use. And I'm very, very impressed. It works just as good as well, growth hair oil, as far as, I guess I wanna say the feeling and touch of it. It smells good and it's lightweight too. It's not a thick oil. Wild growth hair oil, if you're familiar with it, it's very thick. It's kind of like using a grapeseed oil in a way. I'm just going off of the way it looks. It's like, not like texture wise, but it's just a very loose, light oil. I'm extremely excited to see how all of this is gonna turn out when I take down my braids. Because again, that's when I find out if a product works really, really well for my hair or if it doesn't. But that's where my biggest concerns come into play. <laughs> Okay, so once I finish moisturizing my hair, so now I have did my pre-poo, I shampooed, I applied my, my hair cream, 
and I apply my oil, then I will follow up with my hairstyle. So whatever protective style I'm doing, for that day or for that time period. That's the time when I would do it. And then I would just allow the products to do their thing, protect my hair while my hair is in a protective style. And that is like key. Over time, I noticed that my hair has drastically changed. Not as far as just in, no, 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 I'm right. It has changed in texture, not texture as far as my curl pattern, but how it feels. It's not dry, it's very moisturized. It is very easy to manage. And I think that is key in order for you to see longevity in your hair and to retain length. If these products don't work for you, I always highly, highly recommend you going out, doing research, trying products, checking out the porosity of your hair as well. I found the balance of what my hair needs. So make sure your pH balance is perfect when it comes to your hair. Do what you wanna do, just apply what I give you. Like, I am not somebody who will tell you to go out and buy a hundred different products. That's not me, I'm not big into buying tons and tons of products because I'm not a product junkie. I, I find a product that works for me. I've always said this, this is nothing new. If I find a product that works for me, I'm going to continue to use it. The only time I'm gonna switch it up is if I feel like a product isn't working as great as it was prior to that. <laughs> But that is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I was informative, I guess if you wanna say. I hope you guys learned some things today. I will leave down below some links of information as well as products and things that you guys can have access to that I discussed in this video. Do not forget to rate, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Baby, the